the pitching coach said, what do you want to do? First base is open. I want to pitch to Sanchez. Bad idea. A gut punch. And then a chin punch. Ahí está. Profundo por el central. Springer para atrás. Sigue para atrás. Yo. arriba 3 a 0 hey new york yankees fans what a win as always it is felix from nynews.com share that link with friends colleagues everybody you know Hey, Yankees fans, El Gary had King Giles crying to his mommy. King Giles did his greatest impression of Tyler Durden from Fight Club. He literally punched himself in the face. But it was one of these uh, smudges. You know when you play fight with somebody and you just smudge them? <laughs> That's what he did to his own face because he realized, wow, if I punch myself, I might end up on the DL. So, Yankees fans, great win for the Yankees. I still think the Yankees will win this series. Like I predicted uh, over a week ago, I said the Yankees will sweep the Angels, and they will win the series against the Astros. I still think the Yankees will win three straight versus the Astros. As you can see, the Astros are not hitting. They are in a offensive slump in their home ballpark. That is always awesome news for us Yankees fans. So tomorrow you have Luis Severino versus Duck Dynasty Keiko. The Houston Astros got a little thing over there with uh, McCain, that other no-name guy, I forgot his name, <laughs> Keiko. Nothing against Duck Dynasty, but that's what I like to call him. So Keiko has a 4.00 ERA. He's 1-4 in four against one of the best pitchers in Major League Baseball, Luis Severino. Like I said, expect the Yankees to take three straight from the Astros. Who's pitching after this game? Tanaka versus McCullers. It'll be a decent game, but like I said, the Yankees will take three in a row from the Houston Astros. The Houston Astros are not performing. They are offensively struggling. The Yankees need to take advantage of this. Hit them early, get a lead early, and just shut them down. So let's talk about that controversy that uh, Trevor Brower initiated, saying that the Houston Astros are cheating with a foreign substance. Some tests were done, and they found out that bubblegum, the residue, can give you those same numbers. So are the Houston Astros taking advantage of gum? Who knows, but it's really fishy. Take for an example, Morton who was really not a high-velocity pitcher, but became one once he became a Houston Astro. Say Justin Verlander. Verlander is one of the greatest of all time, but really, he took a time machine once he became a Houston Astro. Let's look at Garrett Cole. He has become Roger Clemens. It doesn't happen overnight. I mean, if these improvements are happening in a large scale like this, I think the Houston Astros pitching coach and their front office, they need to be given awards. I mean, they should be put in the Guinness Book of World Records because we're seeing crazy numbers that have never been seen before. Crazy improvements, out of this world improvements. I mean, if you ask for my opinion, I personally think the Astros are cheating. I even said this last year, if you follow nynews.com, I thought the Astros were stealing signs at their home ballpark. They had a little mechanism just stealing signs. So I don't know, folks. I think it's just suspect as hell. But um, luckily for us, the Astros, even if they do cheat, they're not offensively performing. So New York Yankees fans, leave me a text message. Leave me a voice message. The number is 646-396-6916. That is 646-396-6916. I will feature your voice messages on mynews.com and on this channel. So like always, this has been Felix from mynews.com. So like always, share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.